Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu says that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, listen carefully Muslims, that يَتَعَاقَبُونَ فِيكُمْ مَلَائِكَةٌ بِاللَّيْلِ وَمَلَائِكَةٌ بِالنَّهَارُ وَيَجْتَمِعُونَ عِنْدَ صَلَاةِ الْفَجْرِ وَصَلَاةِ الْعَصْرِ That angels have shifts over you, like as in angels come and stay with you for the night, and other and then they go up to the heavens, and then other angels come and stay during the day, and they go up at night. The shift swap times are Fajr and Asr. So the hadith says both groups of angels are present at Fajr, and both groups of angels are present at Asr. Am, am I making sense or have I lost you? So at Asr time, the angels for the night come down and the angels of the day are there. They shift swap and then the angels of the day go up and the night ones stay for the night. So both of them are present at Fajr and both are present at Asr. That is why the verse of the Quran, Subhan al-Khaliq, says, Inna Quran al-Fajr kana mashhuda. The Quran of Fajr is witnessed, as in both groups of angels witness it. So it is recorded double. Fajr is recorded twice, and Asr is recorded twice. Because both the angels are there recording. وَرُسُلُونَ لَدَيْهِمْ يَكْتُبُونَ And our angels, messengers, are with them recording. So they record Asr, and the other one records Asr. And then they go up to the Dhul Arsh al-Majid and Fa'alu al-Lima yurid. So look at this. So Allah Rabbu al-Izza asks them, كَيْفَ تَرَكْتُمْ عِبَادِي How did you leave my servants? So the angels say, تَرَكْنَاهُمْ وَهُمْ يُصَلُّونَ وَأَتَيْنَاهُمْ وَهُمْ يُصَلُّونَ We came to them, they were praying, we left them, they were praying. So what a beautiful record report daily, that at the beginning of it is salah and at the end of it is salah. And note here carefully, you are reported about twice daily. So when your boss requires a report, you make adjustments, you make preparations. Now the Dhul Arsh al-Majid takes two reports about you daily. One comes about you at Asr and the other one at Fajr. Your deeds go up and are presented to the, to the Lord at Fajr and at Asr. And the secret is this, that if you pray these two prayers well, and meet the haqq of prayer, then whatever's in between it, Allah will forgive. بِدَلِيلِ قَوْلِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى وَأَقِمِ الصَّلَاةَ طَرَفَيِ النَّهَارِ وَزُلَفًا مِنَ اللَّيْلِ إِنَّ الْحَسَنَاتِ يُذْهِبْنَ السَّيِّئَاتِ And pray at the two ends of the day, and at the arrival of the night, the good deeds will delete the bad. And Ibn, Ab uh, Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu narrates that a sahabi, uh, in a moment of weakness, kissed a lady who was not someone for him to kiss. And then regret set in. So, what, what you know, and in one of the aqwal, and in the sanad of this, there is da'af. <coughs> he went to Umar ibn al-Khattab. And he said, Ya Umar, I have made this, I have done this mistake. So Umar ibn al-Khattab told him, Fear Allah and cover your sin. Khalas, go make tawbah and awbah, cover it. But these were pure hearts. So he wasn't so much worried about the image, he wants a solution. So he went to the Rasul, Ya Rasul, I, I did this in a moment's weakness. I stretched over and I kissed a lady. Uh, <coughs> so the verses were revealed that pray at the two ends of the day and at the approach of the night, as in this is the Salat of Asr, or insistence on the Salat of Asr, the good deeds will delete the bad. 
So the scholars give a beautiful example. If there are two lights, there's no darkness in between. And you will notice that it is the same two prayers which you are the laziest to pray. Fajr comes and you have the hadith for it. Shaitan knocks your head into the pillow. Why? Because he doesn't want the sins of the night deleted. So you sit, you become lazy, lethargic, tired, sleepy. And Asr comes, you've just come from work. All of a sudden sleep comes and overtakes you to you. Just enough for you. When I swear it to you, wait for Asr to finish, you're fine. You will become full of life and energy once again because the mal'oon lets you go. So what, what you need to do is be insistent and persistent on these two prayers. And look at the wisdom of the Rasul, the adhkar of sabah in masah or at these times. So this is where you sit and do your a hundred istighfar. And subhanallah, this is where you do your, your adhkar of, you know, of, of morning and night. Um, and how beautiful will a record look? You know, Fajr, Salat, MashaAllah, preferably in Jama'ah, then Adhkar, then Istighfar, then Qira'ah. You, your introduction is nice and solid. And then the conclusion at the end of the day, nice and solid, and Allah Rabbul Izzah deletes the daily record. So if I can indulge you for two more minutes. So this is your account being presented to the Lord daily. Then weekly... Because it is important, you know, when you know you've got a deliverable, you will be ready, inshallah ta'ala. Your weekly report goes on a Monday and on a Thursday. So every Monday and Thursday, and Allah's system is a system, subhan al-khaliq, every Monday and Thursday, angels give a weekly report. So what did the Rasul teach you to do on a Monday and on a Thursday? Fast. Do you see? Good deeds, good deeds, solid, big good deeds to delete the, the, you know, this is a strong press of the delete button. This is clearing of the history, so, you know, this is, this is delete. So that, and the Rasul says it, I want my record to go up whilst I am fasting. So on the daily pages, you have salah, salah, you have adhkar, adhkar, you have Quran, Quran, then weekly, you have fast and fast. All day in ibadah. And then annually, yearly, your record goes up in Sha'ban. And the hadith of our mother Aisha, the Rasul didn't fast any month completely except for Ramadan. The only month the Rasul has fasted Beginning to end is Ramadan. But he never fasted a month after that more than Sha'ban. Because my record is going to the Dhul Arsh al Majid. So this is the end, this is the conclusion. I will fast almost the entire month. And when the next chapter opens, as in the next record, annual record opens, it is which month? Ramadan. So Ramadan, Allah made it compulsory upon you to fast the month in its entirety. Out of His kindness, you wouldn't have fasted Ramadan had He Azza wa Jal not prescribed it upon you. But He's done it so that the introduction of the new year, the whole month is in ibadah. You're there this fasting the entire day and the nights in Qiyam and listen to the beautiful hadith. Man sama Ramadan imanan wa ihtisaban ghufirah. ما تقدم من ذنبه غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه ومن قام رمضان إيمانا واحتسابا غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه whoever fasts the month of Ramadan with Iman anticipating the ajr I will clear his history it will all be deleted and whoever fasts Whoever stands the nights in Qiyam, and any Qiyam is, is accepted as Qiyam, and Alhamdulillah, we are here, and MashaAllah, ta, uh, Tabarakallah, doing uh, the Taraweeh in Jama'ah, and reciting the Khatim of the Qur'an, and this is my Allah, Rabbul Izzah, accept this Qiyam from us, do it with Iman and Ihtisaban, and Allah, Rabbul Izzah says, in case you have a muck up in the fasting, do the nights in worship, I will, I will forgive all the previous sins, and in case you miss this, Man qama laylata al Whoever gets 
the Laylatul Qadr is in one of the nights of the last ten nights of Ramadan and praise that in worship or a section of that and I will clear and forgive all his previous sins. And for one day's fast Muslims, the Ajr and the, and the, uh, the merit, the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Man saama yawman fi sabilillah, ba'ad Allahu bithalika al-yawm, wajhahu anin nari, sab'eena kharifan, ay sab'eena aama. Whoever, whoever fasts one day in the path of Allah, I will move him a distance of 70 years from Jahannam. And you're fasting 30 long days, my Allah, Rabbul Izzah, accept and my Allah honor you and protect you and guide you and guide you.